At startup before powering on the unit, remove either the fresh gas line or the proximal pressure line to allow the unit to enter into its two-stage pneumatic self-test. After the initial burst of air, which you will hear, the proximal pressure line or the fresh gas line can be reconnected to the unit. The SLE 1000 then switches to standby mode while it completes the calibration of the oxygen monitoring system. The calibration will take approximately three minutes. In standby mode, the flow is reduced to two liters a minute. The 21% oxygen calibration begins and CAL in large letters will be displayed in the bottom right hand corner of the LCD screen. When the 21% calibration is complete, CAL will switch to show CAL in small letters and this indicates that the 100% oxygen calibration is being done. During this time, the oxygen percentage, the CPAP level and the apnea time can be set or changed, but the oxygen value will not be displayed until the end of the 100% calibration. This is now a good time to assemble the consumables and get the bonnets out of the packaging ready for assembly. Once the 100% calibration is completed, the small cal will be replaced by two dashes in the bottom right hand corner of the LCD screen. Once the 100% calibration is complete, the two dashes in the lower right hand corner of the LCD screen will be replaced by the measured oxygen value. The SLE 1000 automatically calibrates the oxygen every eight hours unless a calibration error has occurred, in which case the unit then calibrates every hour. If a difference of 5% between set and measured oxygen is detected, a high or low oxygen alarm is generated.